2022 will have larger expectations out of the function and the community and it's time to actually stand up and deliver results whether it is head of cs at the entire hierarchy whether it's a csms everyone is going to be stretched because now that you have arrived at the table you need to perform to continue to stay at the table right so one would you agree to that trend that the expectation is going to be more in 2022 out of the cs community overall and the question for you is what do you estimate or predict to be the biggest challenge in meeting up to that expectation You know, I think the scalability is still a big issue for a lot of different teams, and so that investment in the right technology stack is going to be predominant. I think previously we were thinking, and I know Smart Carrot is a CS solution, and like most teams would think, well, I need to just get a CS solution. But actually, the challenge is is that usually it's not enough. The CS solution to be super powerful actually need customer data from multiple systems. and so there's going to be a shift in thinking about just a cs solution versus a cs technology stack that's one and then the other one is just thinking about those specialized roles and not mm-hmm. having a cs ops person or a function as early as possible in their evolution of customer success function i mean mm-hmm. i'm working right now with a fairly small company in utah and another one actually here in silicon valley that's like a 2 billion dollar company and for both of them they're just starting their customer success function both mm. of them i said you know the first thing you want to do until you put everything in place is get the cs ops person like i think it should be like almost like the first hire because you need to put the strategy in place you need to define the processes you need to you know maybe even get the system in place and they might already have some people that do customer success in some sort of a capacity but to really get the function going and do it in a right scalable proactive manner you got to have you know everything defined otherwise it's just like ah oh, you're just throwing people out there and calling them customer success and there's no real strategy and no way to prove value internally or to customers and so i think that's one of those things you know doubling down on the cs ops investment and really thinking through what the technology and data we really need so would you agree to that trend that the expectation is going to be more in 2022 out of the cs community overall if you liked what you've heard so far that's awesome more coming in a second here but in the meantime i want you to click that like button so that youtube knows that this is great content and it could start sharing it with others I agree. I I think that because we're in this movement right now where we have this recognition of the added value, then that kind of creates this spiral effect of creating even more expectations. Mm-hmm. So I think what we need to be is in order to really prove this value is to have better methods perhaps in in how we're going to prove this value to the C suite, but mm-hmm. also to our internal customers that I mentioned just now. Mm-hmm. So I think for that uh, one of the things that I'm seeing is is a shift in the way that different internal teams have as compensation plans and incentives. So I think as as we are understanding and this is what Irit mentioned right at the very beginning as well that customer success should be it should be approached as a strategic company wide initiative. Then this will have like a cascade effect on the way that that company is currently organized so we should be agile and we should be adapting to that so that is something which takes a lot of internal transformation it's not something that's going to happen overnight it will take strategic drive it will take top down buy in from the executives to do that and that brings me to your second question prithvi which i think is that so i think the biggest challenge around that is that perhaps companies are not equipped to do that internal transformation whether they are bigger companies you know that have had 40 years of existence or whether they are startups so i think that change about that internal transformation is something which is which is a big challenge in order to get to that stage where you can be continually proving your worth so yeah it probably won't happen this year i think it will take several years to do that but at least you can start putting the foundations in this year to start the ball rolling peter very quickly from you what's the biggest challenge in meeting these you know steep expectations now 
Yeah, I would say um, the word for me of 2022 is going to be friction because customer success is being successful at establishing itself as a serious business function that most people are understanding has enduring value. And that's going to force a lot of uncomfortable conversations with other peer executives mm -hmm. because all of a sudden customer success, what they surface in their work with customers is going to be uncomfortable information for products, for sales, for services, for marketing, on how everyone needs to kind of up their game. If they really want to become customer centric, then they have mm -hmm. to put, you know, meat to that around the way they work, the way they build their own processes, the way they collaborate. So I predict friction will be the word of the year and that we might see some fallout of leaders, customer success leaders who are not up to the task of being internal evangelists, really crisp communicators, good storytellers, people who demonstrate a vision and can articulate it to really bring other people on board in a kind of a diplomatic and respectful way. I think that's going to be a tall order for many leaders, but I would encourage people to think seriously about that.